Welcome back, everybody, to the Tennessee Titans franchise, where we have not one, but two wins on the season after an impressive showing against the Chargers last week. And the Titans hope to follow it up with more success as we take on the Houston Texans. The team Malik Willis made his NFL starting debut against in a game that did not go well. We'd love to split this season series, and we feel so much better about this team than when we played the Texans the first time around. Malik Willis has eight starts under his belt now, and we're starting to become a much more efficient offense, while also seeing some tremendous play out of the secondary. Caleb Farley had three interceptions of Justin Herbert. It sure looks like he's taken the next step, and he gets his breakout opportunity today. Elijah Molden has made some plays as well this year. He gets a zone coverage boost in this upgrade. Linebacker David Long gets a bunch of stuff upgraded here. I'm also excited about Monty Rice in his second year as he's been playing a lot more. And then Julius Chestnut, the undrafted rookie running back. You always love getting that speed boost. The 6-8 Houston Texans are on a mission to try and win their last three games to go above 500 and sneak into the playoffs. But the Titans are here playing their best football of the season and they've won two out of their last three. And we'll see this much improved offense begin the day with the football as we get underway from Nashville where the Titans have not won a game all season. Ugo Amadi takes them out to the 24-yard line, and here comes Malik Willis. He's starting to clean up some of those turnovers, and the offense has been much more efficient recently. And they start on the ground. This is what you like to see. A good run from Derrick Henry begins the day. It's a gain of nine. Henry over 1,300 rushing yards on the season. Still a chance at the NFL rushing title. He carries again, gets the first down, and falls ahead to the 41. Henry had 96 yards rushing in the first meeting. Good start. Now play action. They got it to Chig Akunkwo, and the Texans ready for the screen. It's a loss of three. Inverted pistol now on second down. And Willis is wrapped up by Jonathan Grenard. He could not get the pitch off. So they had a couple good Henry runs and now face a third and 17. And Willis is going down. He is sacked back at the 30 yard line and despite the Derrick Henry success, the Titans drive ends quickly. When these teams played earlier, Damian Pierce was a big problem and he breaks first contact but only gets one on this play. He comes in with just over a thousand yards. 189 of those coming in the first meeting. Davis Mills' first throw is across the middle and complete, and that is Jalen Rager as Bud Dupree is going to come off the field now for Tennessee. Already down some pass rushers as they get to Mills on the next snap. It is Jeffrey Simmons, and now he's coming off the field. There are backups all over this defensive line. As Pierce running to the right side gets spun down by Zach Cunningham, the former Texan. And it's third down and long. Deshaun Hand is in the game. Mills underneath. It is caught. But no first down for the Texans. That is Cameron Brait. And already good updates here. Simmons and Dupree should be good to go. Let's hope for a long drive to get them rested up again as Willis is brought down by Grenard for a loss of four. Already they're taking away that option game from Tennessee. Now Willis looking to extend. He's got some room and floats it too far for Westbrook Akine who was wide open. That's two quick drives that haven't amounted to much for Tennessee. And now Davis Mills, he's going to throw deep off his back foot, and it's knocked away. Defending is Christian Fulton. Third down now for Houston. Here comes the pressure, but a quick pass for a first down. Nice grab at the 42. More press coverage out of Tennessee on second down as this pass is caught. It's a first down to Brandon Cooks. Ball in the Tennessee territory now. Second down. Quick again. Cooks. 
fighting his way up to the 40-yard line to make it third down and five. Titans showing pressure. Free rusher, and the pass is picked off. It's Christian Fulton. He's across midfield. Cooks gives chase, but he will not be caught. It's a touchdown. And the Tennessee Titans strike first. And it's the secondary once again making the big play. You have to give the assist to that protection breakdown up front. When you get an unblocked defender with a four-man rush, somebody screwed up and it results in 7-0 Tennessee. And the Texans take it back and they'll keep it on the ground. Pierce gets away for a moment and almost got back to the line of scrimmage. Third and long, secondary backs off now against Davis Mills, who has time to throw. He wants to go deep again. This one's knocked away by Farley. Fourth down. Great stuff from the secondary once again. They've gotten so much better this season. Now Kyle Phillips on the return. The rookie makes a move. Shows off the speed. Gets across the 45-yard line to set up Malik Willis in the offense with good field position. They've had two lackluster drives to this point. And now their third begins. Here is Henry spinning away momentarily for a short pickup. Two deep safeties on third down. Bunch formation for Tennessee. And Willis takes off. He has some room and has to take the contact as he gets first down yardage. And that'll take us into the second quarter. Titans move the sticks. They stay in the bunch against the blitz. And the pass is knocked down. One for four passing. Negative three yards. Not the best start. And a good stop against Derrick Henry. So far, this Texans defense has had a fair amount of answers. They look for one on third down, and the pass is incomplete again. Two defenders in the area, and here comes the punt team. Kicking into the wind, they will not attempt the field goal as Stonehouse sends it away. And Roger McCreary is there to down it at the six. Slow start for the offense. Not so much for this defense, though. Mills in trouble, played it risky, and the pass is incomplete. Well covered again by Farley. Mills has to be careful here around the goal line, and now on the quick pass, they do get a first down, and a lot more. It's Cameron Brait. From the 23, across the middle, and again caught for about eight yards. They've had their most success in the quick passing game today. Now third down, and there's a conversion. Right across the middle again for Rager. Three receivers for Houston on second down. Good protection once again. It's swung out. Damian Pierce makes a man miss and has first down yardage. So tough to get him down one-on-one -on -one like that. Now Mills escaping for a moment to find Brait underneath. So this is their bread and butter. Just getting these little five to eight yard throws. Now second down, Pierce to the right side, cut right into a defender, and Cunningham was waiting for him. It's now third down. They stay with the rookie, and he gets the first down, still on his feet, and Pierce eventually taken down with a hard-earned gain of five. Eight carries, though, 13 yards. It's a run, breaking a tackle, and breaking free is Royce Freeman. He will go the distance. Touchdown, Houston. They chip away with Pierce until the fresh legs come off the bench, and Royce Freeman puts together an impressive touchdown run to tie this game. That run came out of nowhere with how good this run defense looked on the first few drives. So we hope the Titans offense is able to wake up now. They have not moved the football well. 16 yards on three possessions. The only good play is coming through. Number 22, who doesn't find a whole lot on this play. Second down and nine. They give it to Henry again, who falls ahead just to get a couple yards. Third down. And they have not passed the ball well in this game. Willis takes off, now floats it, caught by Westbrook Akine. And he's into Texans territory with a big play, and it's the first positive passing play of the day for Tennessee. It took this long 
They should probably try a few more positive passes. But first, Willis. He's got a block inside the 20. One man to beat. He will not get greedy. First and goal, Titans. Three receivers operating out of the shotgun nine yards out. Willis throws complete. It's Nick Westbrook Akine down to the one. Three tight ends in the game now on third down. To the right side, Henry all the way out. He won't get there. Probably shouldn't have tried to bounce that one, but I don't see the kicking team coming out. The Titans are a two-win team, and they will not be kicking. Two receivers, Tory Carter left to right, fourth and goal from the three. Willis to throw, and it's caught! Touchdown, Robert Woods! And the Titans have retaken the lead with the first touchdown for Robert Woods as a Titan. I can't believe it took this long. This offense has come very far, though, in the past handful of games. And that's a big time score. 14 to seven. And the Texans take over. It's Pierce to the outside. Not much there for him. It's maybe a gain of three. Now with the jet motion, they get it to Pierce on the handoff, but that didn't exactly open anything up. So here's third down and five for Davis Mills. Pressure sent and the pass incomplete. Farley on the coverage covering Damian Pierce. Titans trying to regain control. They lead it. Secondary keeps playing well. A screen being set up. This is Derrick Henry. He follows his blocks. Nice pickup. He'll take the nine. And now the tempo with the Titans here in the two-minute drill. Second and one. On the carry. A first down for Henry. He falls ahead. Timeout, Tennessee. With a minute 21 to go. Henry stays in the game instead of Chestnut. As Willis working to his left, he underthrows it, but it's caught. And it's a Conquo down to the 27. The passing game is stepping it up now these last two possessions. 40 seconds left. Willis is sacked. He minimizes the damage. Timeout. Hooper by himself off to the right side on second down. With time, he's got him open. Caught by Westbrook Akine. And he steps out at the one. I'm not so sure he doesn't think he scored, but he didn't. Goal to go from the one. Henry driving in for the touchdown. And the Tennessee Titans have added two offensive scores to their pick six. And they lead this game by two possessions. We're seeing perhaps more proof that this team has turned a corner late in the season. Yes, while mathematically way out of playoff contention. Nice play again from Caleb Farley. A big part of it is when you have two corners playing as well as him and Fulton, it makes everything so much easier. Texans now at the 49. We'll see if they launch one here. Could be final play of the first half as Mills is sacked. Two defenders get there. It's Simmons and Dupree combining. And there will be one last play. Time expires. Mills launches one short. And it's nearly picked off by Farley, who just needed a little more room along the boundary. Great first half again for Tennessee. We've seen the strides they've taken offensively and now defensively. They have a chance to maybe win their third game, and this would be the first at home. You don't want to go 0-8 or 0-9 at home. That's just embarrassing. They will still have games against the Dallas Cowboys and the Jacksonville Jaguars to wrap up the season schedule. But in the second half, I'd just like to see if the offense can remain consistent. They started out so slowly and then put it together. Let's hope they don't fizzle out. Houston up first here in the second half, and this one is returnable. Right down the middle, across the 30. Good run back for the Texans. Ball at the 33-yard line. In the pistol on first down, Mills will start in the air as he gets flushed to his left and throws a perfect ball to Jalen Rager to the 45 of Tennessee. That was a nice play. 
Now they'll get it to Pearson. That is definitely one of his better carries as he picks up five. Nice start to this possession. Trying to extend it now on third down. Coverage looks good, but the pass is caught anyway. Fulton gave him just a little too much space. That was Humphreys. On the doorstep of the red zone now. Mills flushed to his right and going down again. Held on to it a bit too long and he gets sacked by Danico Autry. So now it's third down and 19. Coverage looks very soft. Four man rush. Mills outside. It's knocked away by Farley yet again. Fourth down. And they're going to try a field goal. This would be a 48 yarder. And it just stays inside the right upright to put the Texans within 11. Tennessee now for the first time here in the second half. They'll take over. Nice pickup, and Willis has a Conquo for a first down. And the ball's knocked out. Houston is on it. They will take over in Tennessee territory. That was such a nice play, too. A fumble for the rookie. Now Mills finds the open target great inside the Tennessee 35. Houston trying to get momentum back on their side. Now a shot toward the end zone, and this one is denied. Again, attacking Farley. They'll keep it on the ground this time. A good cut. It looked like there was some space there, but it was very temporary. Third down now on the edge of field goal range. And Mills is on target for Cameron Braid. They do convert and enter the red zone. Trying to start this second half off the right way. Pierce off tackle. Falling ahead inside the 10-yard line. Second down. Pierce again with an opening. He's got the touchdown. It is a 10-0 start to the second half. While the Titans have only run two offensive plays. Houston will go for two to make this a field goal game. And Mills puts some touch on it and drops it into Brait. 21-18, we have ourselves a game. Impressive stuff coming out of halftime for Houston. Now it's a three-point contest. This is Henry right up the middle with this run as he gets five. He had a couple nice runs on the opening drive, but it's been slow moving overall since until he finds a little crease here to get the conversion. Back to the option now. Red nicely. They force Willis to cut up field and take all that contact, which is not always going to be worth those gains of six. Third down now. Caught by Burks, and that'll get the job done. His first appearance of the day. 9 for 15 now for Malik Willis after that 1 of 4 start. And looking for room outside, he gets taken down. Jonathan Grenard has come prepared. Second and 15, pressured inside. Willis on the move. He's going to go for it all this time, and it's intercepted. Double coverage and a pick. The Texans have their second takeaway, Derek Stingley. He's trying to go way downfield here. He thinks he's got one-on-one, -on -one, but Stingley comes off of his receiver to go make the play. Momentum staying with the Texans here in the third quarter as pressure's through, but it's a screen. Damian Pierce has blocking and gets the first down. 191 yards passing now for Davis Mills as the runoff tackle. Really trying to get that outside zone going, but... Not much there. Off the fake this time. Mills got rushed and that affected the throw. It's incomplete. Third and 10. Tennessee could use a stop. Mills has time. Too much of it. Throwing off balance. This one's intercepted. The former Texan. It's Zach Cunningham. I don't know what Mills was thinking on that play. Just a really... Reckless, unnecessary interception. And the Texans will give it up now. This is Willis off to the right. What a move! And he gets the first down. When he has the ball in his hands, he is so much fun. 
I can't imagine playing defense against him. Henry off tackle now. That ball's out, but recovered by the Titans. What are we doing in this quarter? I'm so happy the quarter's over there because this team needs to regroup. That's where you call like a basketball timeout. Setting up the screen on second down. Henry's got it now. And the Texans again play good physical football. Third and five. They send four at Willis. Here comes the pressure. It's caught by Burks. I don't know how Willis got it there. It just fluttered out of his hand. Right to him. In the red zone now. Willis up the middle. Going to run with it. First down, Tennessee. Nine rushes. 42 yards. And now, goal to go. Texans blitz to the end zone. This one's too far for Woods. He could have had his second. Third down. Two receivers in the ball game. Willis to the corner this time. It's incomplete for Woods, who now has three end zone targets. And they'll be forced to bring out Bullock. And the field goal ends the Texans' run. It's now a six-point game. But they got back in this game with a great third quarter, and the opening is still there if they can put together one more touchdown drive. Damian Pierce, good running here. It's a gain of five. Feel like that's opening up a little bit as they toss it to him, and there's all kinds of space for Pierce as he picks up a game high of 13. 8.33 left to go in the game now. Mills protected and checks it down to Pierce on top of the Titan logo. Pistol formation. Here comes pressure. Buying time. Mills is sacked. He had the right idea there for a moment. He stepped away from the first defender but never got rid of the ball. Second and 25. This one is open, and it's caught by Humphreys. They found the hole in the defense and exposed it for a first down. That's the hole shot there against the cover two. Mills hits it. Now swings it outside to Damian Pierce, and that turns into a gain of nine. Pressure really on this Tennessee defense now. Third down and a conversion. It's Royce Freeman. And only good things have happened when the Texans have put him in the game. Under five minutes to play. Pierce returns and drags defenders down to the four. It is goal to go. Titans pinch the line. Mills will keep it in the air. Back corner. Touchdown, Adam Humphreys! And the Houston Texans have completed their comeback. The game is tied. And here comes the extra point now. And this crowd is stunned. They have watched this team lose 12 games in heartbreaking fashion. And that all too familiar feeling has to be returning. Down one. Henry running left. There is nowhere for him to go. And credit to the way the Texans have played the run. Three and a half minutes left. Here's Henry again with a gain of three. They will not give up on him late. Now the offset pistol. And Willis is going to keep it. Gets a block from a Conquo and breaks it outside. He's across midfield. First down, Tennessee. They haven't given up on what they do best. Back to Henry on first down. And a little more space this time on his 20th carry. They fake it to Henry now on second down. And Willis is sacked. Jerry Hughes flying off the edge. Seemed like a good time for play action. And then everybody was covered. It's suddenly third and 18. Willis launching. Has a man. It's caught. Nick Westbrook Akine. He's been there for some big moments today. And it's a first down Tennessee into field goal range. Chestnuts in the game. And the rookie protects the football. It's a three yard pickup. Henry straight ahead. He gains four. And the Texans now aware they need to protect themselves in case the Titans score. Third and three. Henry first down. 
And the Titans control the rest of this clock. They can kneel down a couple times and take us down to one final play. What a conversion to Nick Westbrook Akine. The passing game has come through, but they need the kick to finish the job. And Bullock nails it, and the Titans have won the game. 27-25, a last second win. Their first in Tennessee this season. And the Titans move to 3-12 on the year, perhaps spoiling the Texans' playoff hopes. This is also their first division win of the season, so we ensure no 0-17 no winless at home, no winless in division. It could just be a bad season that blends in with everybody else's bad seasons. We're not trying to make history here. But I love the way that we have found ways to win games lately. Now, blowing the lead there isn't ideal. We had to uh, fix it there at the end, obviously. And nice job by Westbrook Akine in this game. But yeah, this is what happens when you're not throwing the ball to the other team like four times a game. It's so much more fun. And now Caleb Farley, four pass deflections in this game, but that wasn't one of the conditions for getting his breakout opportunity. Now, I know there are going to be comments saying that both him and Fulton should be moved up. But we're just going to let the game do its thing. I think that they're both doing a great job. They have a chance to earn development going into next year. And they're a big reason why we've been able to win three out of these last four games. And now we got a matchup coming up against the Dallas Cowboys to look forward to. So two more games to go. And now I am recording this video after coming back from my recent vacation. So video should be a bit more regular. And I was working on a bunch of stuff that I haven't been able to finish. So a lot of videos are already in progress. So it won't be that tough to get back into the overall swing of things. But I do have to catch up with the UTSA Dynasty and the Rockies franchise. It was just uh, the timing of everything here with being gone for a week. I wanted to take a look here at some of the other players that were getting talked up in the draft stories. And the quarterbacks are a big topic of conversation. I don't want to focus on it too much because the chances of us taking any of them are quite low. I'm happy with Malik Willis. Maybe I look for a backup, but with us only having five picks, I'm not spending capital on our backup quarterback. Especially with the offense we run, it's not like I'm going to find a good backup for the Malik Willis offense. If he goes down, we're just screwed. But you bet I'm focused on these running backs. Derrick Henry can't do this forever, so we're going to take a look. Donnell Shepard won one of the awards this year, and then wide receiver, this is more of a possibility. Marcus McAllister, top-ranked receiver, he wins the award. He's somebody we're going to be interested in, although I don't think he's like an elite prospect and you want an elite player when you're drafting as high as we are. Although we might not be drafting as high as we once thought. If the season ended now, we'd have the number three pick in the draft instead of number one. I don't care though, it feels good to win and to actually look like an improving team. We are going to be signing Carter Coughlin from the practice squad. He's a versatile player out of Minnesota I've been interested in. And then Cavante Turpin. This is kind of an audition for next year's kick return job because I don't want to draft somebody to fill it. So we're going to give him a chance. We're going to be releasing the rookie corner Trey Avery to make room. Turpin is in his second season. We're just looking for some good field position out of him. And then we'll sign Chris Claybrooks to the practice squad. But as the season, I guess it is winding down, but you'll see me play some more of these backups to get at least some look at them. And our next game pits us against the Dallas Cowboys, and they're 8-7. and seven. We've already played spoiler against a couple teams here in the playoff hunt, and we'll see if we can do it again. But I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. Please leave a like if you did. And subscribe to the channel for much more on the way. 
I will see you all in the next one. Have a great day.